Hi, my name is Leo. Uh, I'm 23 years old and uh, I was uh, part of the whole program and back to back Monterrey. I grew up with uh, two brothers and one sister and we were living good in a, in a big house. We were in a, a really close family. My father spent a lot of time uh, working and my mom was uh, all day with us. So my father, with all this money, like you not know, spending too much time with uh, with us, he started like drinking and alcohol a lot. So and he started like taking bad choices, uh, fighting a lot with my mom. So one night, I remember that we were in a room, me and my brothers, and my mom yelled our names, and then we were like running uh, outside, and we saw my father and my mom fighting. Finally, we just we just ran. Uh, with my mom. So that night we were, we walk in the middle of the night like trying to, to find a place where to stay and my mom, the only thing she was saying is that we were almost there and but she didn't know like which place we, we were going and then she find a place for us like that we can leave. It was a little room um, and uh, they have kitchen and everything but it just was a little room and it wasn't, it wasn't cool. So my mom uh, started working, and she was working since uh, 6 to 6 p.m. Uh, it was 12 hours. So she was trying to give us what we need, school, food, attention, uh, but she couldn't do that. It was too much for her because she was alone. And we were like living in the street. Like every time we, we go to school and after school, my mom was still working and we were like, with not food. One day my mom uh, came to, to the house and she, she, she tells like, hey, I found a place. And she told that it was a, a really cool place. There was a lot of animals and a lot of like really cool things there. So we got excited and we said, we wanna go there. So next day my mom took us there and then when, when we got there, there were no cute animals, there were no really cool stuff. It was a bunch of kids running around and it was a children's home. So that day, the director of the children's home uh, gave us a tour of the, the, the children's home and how it works, what the rules are. And uh, by the end of the tour, we were talking with the, the director and uh, we turned around to look for my mom, she was in the other side of the door. And she, the only thing she said was, I'll be back soon, I love you, and she, she left. So for us it was, it was, it was really, really hard because we wanted to be with my mom. We wanted to be uh, with her, even like we understand that there wasn't food at home, there was an attention, but we really wanted to be close to, to my mom. So, so for me, at that time, the children's home became my first home. Because every time my mom took us out, it was like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see my mom crying. I don't want to see my brothers crying. I don't want to cry. What I want is to be in family. So after that, when I was in the teenager age, it was a hole in my heart that I was trying to feel. It was pain in my heart that I was trying to hide. And I was taking bad decisions. One of the things that I was trying to fill my heart with, it was like being with girls. Having a lot of girlfriends, dating a lot of girls. And uh, because I thought in that way, my heart is gonna be filled because I will feel love. And it wasn't like that. And then I got the opportunity to come and, and live in the campus. And it was exciting for me because I was leaving the children home and I was like going to a new process. And it was good and I was so excited. But it's, it's still, when I was in the whole program, like that, the hole in my heart, it was still there. So in November last year, God brought a, a, a friend that he helped me to to open my eyes and to see the only Jesus was the one that can fill my heart, that can fill that hole. So he helped me with that. And right now I can say that I'm really thankful we got to bro like 
people like him in my life that I didn't see, that I didn't pay attention. But now I can say thank you God for them and for the people that you brought in my life. While I was totally blind, but right now I can see. And what I can see is that I'm hopeful for the kids. They can see me like hope. Because every time I go to the children home, work with the groups, or even like go and play with them, they love spend time with me because they know I was like where they are right now. So every time I go and see them, it's really cool for me to see them grow, to give them a, a little advice that they can take, to talk to them how life is going, or like if they need some prayer, if they need some help with something. It's really fun and I really love spending time with the kids. One of the, the cool things about right now, about this huge change that God made in my life is that one of the kids in the children's home after a retreat we have last April, he came with me and said, I got in, impacted by your testimony. And I want to tell you something, I want to ask you something. I want to know if you want to do Bible study with me. So for me, it was so excited. It was so happy for me to see like, God, this is something you brought me here or I've been like all this past, all my, my testimony is for something, to bring hope. So this, this is a huge opportunity for me and I say yes.